I know we're not supposed to brag, but we all look like a million bucks. I'm so excited. Not only do we have tickets to the fanciest winter ball, we're the guests of honor. And I prepared a speech for when we get our community award. Even though I slipped on some ice and hurt my arm, that won't stop me from dancing the night away in my new dancing shoes. And don't forget the cookie decorating bar. I don't care what kind of looks I get, I'm putting gummy worms on my cookie. Tony, what in the world are you wearing? It's snowing outside. But it is blazing hot in here. Someone turned up the heat to 85. That was me. I run cold. Well, it's given me the beard sweats. Ew. Ew. Anyway, let's get going before the roads get too icy. We're the guests of honor. We can't be late. No, it's just a little bit of snow. We'll be fine. Where's, where's Mike? Oh, he said he would meet us there. He's probably already enjoying a mug of piping hot chocolate. Where? Where is this party? We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is how we survived the great snowstorm. Trust me, we will be there. It's just a light dusting of snow. Uh, guys, this weather report says the winter storm is getting worse. They've closed all the roads. I'm worried about Mike. I'm sure he's already there. Is our friend Mike already there? Look by the food table. He's taller than me and has hair. Okay. They see a guy matching that description. I'm a guy that's matching that description. No, please don't cancel. We will be there to receive our award. I bought special cookie handling gloves for the occasion. Wait, but I know a guy who can get us a snowplow. Hello? Hey, I think that guy just hung up on me. What a scrooge. Nope, phones are dead. The storm probably knocked them out. So the roads are closed and the phones are dead? Uh-oh. And that lucky duck Mike is at the party having a grand old time. I can't feel my anything. Oh, come on, guys, where's our Christmas spirit? It is Jesus' birthday, and we can still celebrate right here at Connect HQ. This was our big chance to get summer payment for all of the hard work we do at Connect HQ. But that's not why we do kind things for others. Giving to others who can't repay you is a gift to Jesus. But I was going to decorate a cookie the size of my head. And I was going to dance all night with my good arm. And I prepared a speech. But hey, it's nice and toasty in here, and, and even though we won't make it to the party, our Connect HQ sign will be shining brightly for all to see, and it'll be just like the first Christmas star. I did not see that coming. We have to get that power back on before we freeze to death. I think it's pretty temperate. Temperate? My toes have frostbite, man. Well, okay, um, according to these schematics, it says that there's a generator in the basement. That old generator is manual. Someone has to have a boundless amount of energy to keep it going. I know just the guy. Be right back. Thanks for 
for doing this, Sean. God gave me the legs to pedal and a heart to serve. And as long as you keep pedaling, the generator will power the building. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. Uh, why are you wearing a helmet? In case I fall off. <laughs> but it's a stationary bike. All right. Let's do this! Oh, the weather outside is frightful. But the fire is so delightful. Hmm. The phone lines are still dead, but we got some power back. What about the heat? Hmm. I think we need a little bit more power. Um, right here. Hey, Sean? We need a little bit more power for the heat, man. Well, all right. Picking up the pace, Chief. But the fire is so delightful. See, that kicked it back on. Now we have power and heat. Ah, we don't need a winter ball. We can celebrate right here. We can even put on some music. Hmm. Looks like we don't have enough power for the computers. Hey, Sean, can we get some power for the computer? You got it. Serving others is the real gift. No, let it snow. Man, that guy is the real deal. <laughs> Here, let's put on some music to cheer us up. To Nazareth and meet a girl named Mary. An angel came and said she'd have a baby. Not only that, but it'd be God's son she'd carry. And though this happened a long time ago. Let's go. And see what Joseph slept and dreamed the night away. He wondered what to do about this baby. With Mary as his wife, what would people say? An angel told him, don't be afraid. Let's go. Go tell it on the mountain. Traveled all the way to Bethlehem, kind of there because the world is like a man. But Mary was so tired, there was no room in the inn. A stable would be part of God's great plan. Let's go. At the hills where shepherds watched the flock by night, when they just came and told them of an amazing sight. To you, a child is born in Bethlehem this very night. Peace on earth, glory to God on high. Let's go, go tell it on the mountain. A new star shining and wondered why Wondered if a king is born, if it was a sign The star will guide us with his holy light Let's go. Find the wondrous gift God gave us long ago His one and only son who came to us so we could know Forever God is with us, now it's up to us to show The love of Jesus so the world can know Let's go, go tell it on the mountain See, just because we can't go to the Winter Ball doesn't mean we should mope around. God gave us the best gift we've ever received whenever he sent his son Jesus to Earth. Maybe you're right. Maybe this night isn't such a bust after all. Hey guys, more bad news. I can't find any of the cookies that Chevrolet baked for the ball tonight. Oh, Mike probably took them to the party with him. Mike! He's probably curled up by a warm fire eating those huge cookies right now. Wolves? Nice, Wolfie. You want a bag of cookies? Here, take it!
Maybe I should check our food supply, uh, just in case. In case of what? Oh, it's probably nothing, but we could be stuck in here for a while. I wanna make sure we have enough supplies to make it through the storm. Now, we could be stuck in here for the rest of our lives. It's not fair. We do kind things for people all day long. And the one time someone else wants to do something nice for us, the weather says no. I know it's not why we do it, but it would be nice to get some recognition for what we do. Is it so much to ask that we get as much as we give? Listen, I, I know it's tough, guys, but we can't grumble like a bunch of goats. That was a little harsh. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. It, it's from the story in Matthew. Here, I think if you guys watch this, you'll understand what I mean. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. is alive. Jesus often taught with parables. Those are stories that teach us something about ourselves, like the parable of the sheep and the goats. I don't get it. What do sheep and goats have to do with us? Well, it might help if you understand more about them. First, take sheep. Sheep can't really live on their own. They need a shepherd, and they know how much they need him. So they follow the shepherd closely, and they do what the shepherd says to do. Aw, cute little sheep. Right. Then you have the goats. Goats are stubborn. They do things their own way. They eat anything, even trash. They don't know how much they need the shepherd, so they don't always follow him. Bad, bad goats. Exactly. So Jesus tells about a king who went away. But then the king comes back in glory with all the angels to sit on his throne. Like Jesus. Jesus is coming back. Right. Jesus was telling a true story about himself. He is coming back. And when he does, he will separate people like a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. Some people will go on his right. Those people are like good sheep? Yes. Jesus will say to the people on his right, Hey, I know you. Come into my kingdom. When I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. And when I was a stranger, you invited me into your home. When I was in prison, you visited me. Wow, they've been busy. When did they do all those things? Jesus said when they did those things for the least of these, they were actually doing it for him. Wait, the least of these? What's that supposed to mean? It means everyone matters to God and their needs matter to him too even if they can't do anything for you in return or even pay you back. So helping them is like helping Jesus in disguise? Yep, exactly. Then Jesus will talk to the people on his left. Jesus will tell them to go away. Because when he was hungry, they didn't feed him. And when he was thirsty, they didn't give him anything to drink. And when he needed a place to stay, they didn't invite him in. And when he was in prison, they didn't visit. Wait. Why would anyone not help Jesus? Hey, I think I see where this is going. Does that mean those people on Jesus' left didn't help others who couldn't pay them back? They probably did things their own way, like goats. Right. Jesus said when they ignored the needs of the least of these, they ignored him. So if we want to do something great for Jesus, we should do something great for people in need and care for them like Jesus does. After all, he's the shepherd, I'm the sheep. 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 See, I'm just as bummed as you guys are that we don't get to go to the ball, but we shouldn't expect anything in return when we give to others that are in need. I remember years ago I learned that giving to others without expecting repayment is like giving a gift to Jesus. Christmas is Jesus' birthday. And being generous is a gift we can give to Him. 
Well, and being generous is something we can do every day, not just at Christmas time. Maybe we can memorize that verse from the book of Matthew mm -hmm. so we can remember why we do what we do. Yeah, yeah. Let's say it. Let's say it like this. Matthew 25, 40. Matthew 25, 40. Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. You did for me. See, we don't do it for the parties or for the dancing. Or the awards and speeches. Or for the treats and high fives. We do it because Jesus gave so much when he came to earth and died for our sins. Everything all right down there, Sean? Uh, Gramp! It's fine. Did he say Krampus time? No, just a lot cramp. I can pedal through it. I consider it pure joy. Yeah. I'm glad we had a quiet Christmas. It was a nice silent night. Hey, Mike, you made it. How was the winter ball? Wolves chased me. Sounds fun. Hey! You brought me back one of those big cookies! Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mike. Mike, you're just in time. We're about to enjoy some hot cocoa and then also sing some carols. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Joy to the world, the lights are on. I am so happy. Merry Christmas. We learned something important we wanted to share with you. The Bible says this in the book of Matthew. Say it with me like this. Matthew 25, 40. Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. When you do something kind for someone who can't pay you back or do anything in return, it's the same as doing it for Jesus. God sees and remembers every kind thing, gift, or caring action you do for people who are in need and can't give anything back. He blesses you for it. And Jesus loves welcoming generous people into his kingdom. Jesus is the shepherd and those giving people are the sheep. Throughout the year, we give a lot. It's nice when we get recognition or gifts when we give gifts to friends and family. But there's a kind of giving that's even better. A kind of giving that gives to Jesus, especially on his birthday. Being generous to people who can't repay you is a gift you can give to Jesus every day. Christmas is a season where we give a lot and get a lot of gifts too. But when you believe in and follow Jesus, giving isn't just for Christmas. Give every day of the year without expecting anything in return. Giving to others who can't repay you is a gift to Jesus. All of us here at Connect HQ hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Celebrate the best Christmas gift ever given, Jesus. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you.